Hey guys, and welcome back to Peck Pong, channel where I talk about matches that I play, things that I do to try to get better, as well as some things that might help you get better too. Today we have a match that I played in the finals of the uh, Samson Dubina Table Tennis Academy $3,000 Open. This match is against Sid Naresh. He's a 2,500 level player. And yeah, let's talk about what I did to try to do uh, as well as I could and how he kind of built his game and what I did to uh, kind of move around him. His playing style, he's a two-wing looper uh, with a really good backhand uh, punch block. So not only is he good at attacking, but also when you go to his backhand, he can really put it to you if you're not careful about your placements. Uh, so no, no easy loops to the backhand, that's for sure. With this playing style, he kind of uh, takes away my forehand loop from the backhand corner because he can easily run me around. So if I was to turn the corner, I'd have to make sure it was a very strong ball um, that I'm trying to almost finish the point with. His serves are typically uh, heavy backspin and no spin with the forehand. And he looks to get a good attack in if you make a little bit of a mistake on the dead ball if it's high. And if you push the lo underspin long, he, he can really make a good strong attack uh, to a good location. So definitely trying to flip his serves uh, was a part of my plan for the dead ones and the underspin uh, because if I kind of play too much of that game where I'm pushing, he gets those loose balls. He also is starting to develop a backhand serve, uh, that, a backhand side spin serve. So if you're not careful and you mess up a little bit trying to keep it short, he's very good at coming in over the table, making a good backhand flip or a good forehand loop over the table. Um, and also he can surprise you long with the backhand uh, serve and then if you kind of lift it up a little bit too much He's ready coming in with that backhand punch So as you can see his game is kind of it kind of flows into itself uh, Meaning like the serves he does they kind of uh, The mistakes his opponents will, will make kind of flow into his direct strengths um, Which is pretty cool and I think that everyone should kind of think about their game in that kind of way and build their game around that. Being ready for that long serve, whether it's the backhand long serve or the forehand long serve, just being ready to loop it, because like I said, if you put a soft one up, he's ready coming in with that punch. And as far as my strategy went, I tried to really anticipate with my serves when he was trying to play short and then uh, mentally being ready to step in and make a good backhand or forehand flip, um, because yeah, those really, like I said, pay, pay off. And of course, like I said, before I have to use my backhand loop as opposed to running around the backhand corner with my forehand. Um, so just really being brave and, and making good strong loops with the backhand is, is really important for me to do well in this match, unless I want to be a human yo-yo, uh, which is not as fun as it sounds. Um, but yeah, staying in the backhand corner, using my backhand, distributing it to different locations on the table, uh, definitely helps to win the points. Then lastly, I think it's important for me to be ready for him to flip my serves or for him to make a good strong opening loop. And just kind of staying in backhand and, and making a good backhand counterattack um, because they're gonna come, he's gonna get them back. And just being mentally ready for that and uh, like, I, like I said before, being brave and just kind of staying in, in the spot and taking those backhand counters uh, definitely really seem to pay off in this match and something you I have to be more aware of as I get better because the players are going to be doing more of that. Um, so I feel like many times the the level isn't getting better, it's what you expect them to do is getting more and just being ready for those things because I think many times I play like against lower players and I'm not expecting things to come back at a certain speed or placement and then when I play against higher players it, it does and my level and my technique is able to adapt to this it's just I have to be mentally aware that it's going to happen and just kind of make those decisions that's really all I have in my notes here about the match and yeah this was a really fun tournament I played extremely well uh, actually the further on I played the more the better I played um, I think it was more of a confidence thing than anything, but um, definitely having uh, this bright spot in my, in my game is going to give me encouragement for the future. So. Alright, 
see you guys in the next one. Congratulations to Seth Peck, Open Champion, and Sidna Rash, Open Singles Finalist. We're going to be doing awards in about 10 minutes. Great job, guys. If you just showed up for the 6 o'clock events...